to the whole interview that you yes. did. Y'all need to go to the interview. Tell them again and listen to what y'all were saying. Not the little bits that Hollywood clip decided to put up or the little bits that Shade Room doesn't know. Listen to the whole interview. That's right. Nobody listened to the whole interview. But it's okay. And nobody. to reality tv thanks for tuning in now let's get to this tea mama jones went live to respond to the situation that happened yesterday if you don't know what i'm talking about just google jim jones anyway she says bloggers like jason lee and others blew the situation out of proportion check this out good morning everybody unfortunately yesterday was a crazy day Everybody was uh, going crazy off of some stupid shit that wasn't true. But anyway, it's all good. I just want you to go on Channel 5. Nick Cannon's giving me plenty love, supporting me with my book, Love and Romance. My Guide to Love and Romance. Go on Channel 5, look at it. Look and see what he's, how much love he's giving me. Go buy my book, My Guide to Love and Romance. It's not about a joke. Hey, if I'm on Channel 5, Fox 5... Um, on Channel 5 Fox. Hey, come on now. Y'all know for a fact, I gotta be I gotta be a good mama. I'm doing something right. And I just didn't appreciate a lot of the people that's out there uh, yesterday that was just actually trying to bash me and do wrong. And shade room, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself giving me some shade like that, knowing that I'm a good mama. But it's all good. I'm not gonna speak on it no more because what y'all be saying is off. Off the rock is off. Just not good. It just wasn't good. But anyway, go check it out. Go get the book. Like I said, right now, I'm on Nick Channel, Channel 5, Fox. And just look at the love that I'm getting. Not the love that y'all was supposed to be giving me yesterday. That was, that was not nice. Anyway, y'all all have a blessed day. I'm saying it again. Go get the book. My Guide to Love and Romance. It has an interactive piece on it where I come up popping up speaking about the book and stuff. And Nick Cannon right now to show you on the on the on the show. Um how the book is. And also too, you might as well go get this book because part two and three is coming out. It's why men and women cheat and how men and women cheat. So all those that wanna bash me and everything yesterday, y'all better be correct. Because when this book come out, y'all going to be mad with yourself. For, uh, do, how you say it? It's giving me false act accusations. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, I'm so happy. Go on Channel 5, Box 5. Come support. Get my book, Love and Romance, My Guide to Love and Romance. Go to MamaJonesBooks.com. It's a damn good book, and you're going to love it. Here we go. See? Oh, no. This, oh, no, that's... The calls. Oh, these are the calls. I, I want to stay on with y'all until it come up. You think I should or just... Okay, I, I, I'm going to give y'all this break and see how this one goes down. But he gives me love, and, and I love that. Yesterday was kind of crazy. My family member died. You know, everybody who has animals... You know how it goes. They're definitely a family member. And my my lovely Diamond, she passed yesterday. So, and she wasn't even like a dog. She was very smart, very intelligent. Oh, my God, a lady to the T. Because you know if you're hanging with me, you got to be a lady. She was a lady. Had her little earrings, her little bows, her, had little dresses and stuff. And she was smart. Anytime Jim Dog would get out when I'm babysitting, She'll go find him, bring him back. If my cat get out, she'll go find the cat and bring the cat back. 
she was very intelligent. I don't know how to tell you all the smart things that she was doing. She know how to talk to you and tell you different things in her little dog language. So, there. There I go. And I'm proud of mine. I'm proud of my son. Okay? And I'm proud to know that he was able to be able to say, yes, my mother was able to show me things. She didn't say, he didn't say, I indulge with it. But, you know, it is what it is. Y'all take it for whatever it's worth. Anyway, I'm just very proud of my son. I'm proud of him, my daughters. Everybody's about something, doing something, making life what you call worth living, which some people don't have a life and they want to live off of other people's life or try to destroy other people's life. But it's okay because it can't destroy minds. The only person can do that is my God. They talked about Jesus Christ and guess what? He didn't care about a goddamn thing. So, I'm happy and proud to know that, and my son also too, with his song, with the Amigos, you know, we set the trend. So yesterday, we was trending. We was, we was trending, right, Lexus? We set the trend yesterday. Oh, we set the trend yesterday. So, now today, what makes it even more better is knowing that Nick Cannon, the, the show and everything, I, I love you all. I thank you all for giving me this love. Because <clears throat> what he's doing, that's a great thing. It really is. I, I'm trying to stay on as long as possible so y'all can see how he gave me the support and the love with the book. Anyway, I'm very tight with a lot of y'all, but it's all right. I got to love my haters, too. Yes? Okay. All right. After you, after you finish, whenever Ricky get ready, then I'll let you know. Okay. Mm, something else. And my, my poor cat. You don't understand my poor cat. My cat is sad. Uh, look at my cat. My cat is at the steps because my dog yesterday passed, which is Diamond, you know, and it's kind of scary because I, I can't leave him by itself. I don't know whether, y'all have to help me decide whether I should get him a cat or should I get another dog because he only been, a, this, this boy cat only been around dogs, so it's kind of scary. You know, I don't know whether I should get him a cat or a dog because he's never been around a cat, nor seen a cat. So, y'all help me decide whether I should get him uh, another dog. I'll start from like a baby, ba baby schnauzer, or if I should get him a cat. I'm kind of scared because, like I said, he never had a cat before. He never been around a cat. So, it's kind of crazy. But it was the saddest thing yesterday, and... Uh, I'm still, you know, I, I, I just try not to think so much hard on it, but uh, I, I just miss her so much. I, but I thank God I got my kids and them around me, so, but that was my comfort. That was my road dog. Now, that's the true meaning of a road dog, because everywhere I went, she was practically there. Sometimes I get so upset and mad because I really want to take on some of the things I had to do, but I know no dogs allowed in there. So, but I tried a couple of times doing some things I ain't had no business bringing the dog into, and I dared a nigga to try to take me and my dog and put me and my dog out. And if they did, I would have been put out of big. I've been put out of bigger and better places. So, anyway, but uh, stay strong, Nana. Thank you. Scorpion. Oh, where are we at? Uh, yesterday was really crazy.
I'm. I think your part came up already. You come up after that. No, I come on after that. I come on after Mama June. I don't know. Are y'all are y'all watching Nick Cannon? I I. And well, because they're gonna be just good hang. And she was, yes, yeah, she was my world. She be okay, Mama Jones. Yes, uh, we buried her last night, and we gave her a beautiful burial. Um, I'm going to wait till the weather breaks. When the weather break, you know, my daughter suggested, which is beautiful, that we put a whole rose bush over her grave. Um, Victor has this beautiful plaque to go there. Uh, um, which those, um, no, not movie. He's on, he's on Channel 5. That's Fox, Fox Channel 5. But, um... So she gonna have the rose bushes and her little plaque and everything. So every time when I take a rose and I put it in my vase or whatever, it always remind me of Diamond. Cause she was a beautiful dog. Oh my God. Now y'all know for a fact. I love to be dressed and I love to dress the way I dress. So you know she was sharp. So anyway. It is what it is. I'm just here trying to wait, trying to kill a little time so I can actually put put up with um Nick Cannon um had did for me which I was really nice I I last night I'm so sorry because the phone died in in the midst of us when we was doing the burial and stuff that you know I just wanted some kind of positive stuff coming you know come out yesterday because due to the fact that all the crazy things that people was trying to come at me and my son wrong Okay, you got it. I'm smiling a little, but it still hurts. It hurts very bad, but it was a nice day yesterday. No, nice night last night. And used to know that she died in my house instead of in the hospital because they was trying their best to tell me to let her stay and they're going to do chemo and all this. And knowing that she's old, she was 91, you wouldn't even believe it because she moved around like she was some young chippy dog. It's a poor reception, right? Oh, you hate social media too, Scorpio? I do. Social media takes things out of proportion, just like Shay Room. Why, why would you do that to me? I, I, I hope and pray that just somebody... Like Hollywood Unlocked in a clubhouse that they had yesterday. Yes, and Hollywood Unlocked in the clubhouse they had yesterday. Y'all don't know me and the stuff you're talking about. And people, Thank you to the people that was in there defending you, but all the other people. Yeah, there was pe- people in there defending me, like um, my daughter said. But in in the in the same thing at the same time, then there's people also too that want to be that hater and make me be something that I, definitely that I'm not. Yeah, yeah. So busy talking about all this and all that, and then want to talk about oh, I, they were victims, and then. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all blew something out of proportion. So, yeah, y'all made the people who were actual victims feel some type of way because y'all made up a lie and made people go with this shit. That's even down to Jason Lee. Like, he was dead wrong for sit there trying to say that you tongue-kissed an eight-year-old boy. First of all, he never mentioned no age about yeah. how old he was. And this is what I'm saying. And two... He, no one said he tongue kissed her. This, she, this, this is what I'm saying. She cleared it up, and instead of y'all saying, "Oh, she cleared it up," you want to still go along with it, like offer just to have clickbait and to have a whole conversation, a clubhouse room, and don't invite Jim or his mother to the room to defend themselves. It's very coward of them. Very coward of Jason Lee. How you call yourself a news reporter when you don't even, or a blog reporter, or what you want to call yourself? But you don't invite the people in who the conversation is about. You're mad corny for that. You only did it for clickbait. Yeah, and that's corny what it is. Out. Jason Lee. Hmm. Now, don't worry, because mother, and someone said something about his mother, and people was going in about his mother. He wasn't gonna sit there and have a whole fucking clubhouse conversation about it. Right. Because as far as I'm concerned, I feel that maybe you and your mother might have really done that. For you to come out, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't even go there like that. You know what? Matter of fact, Jason Lee, don't like worry about said, it. Whatever happens, and happens to you. A, that she you was did a victim. It. The fact that she was a victim means that you shouldn't be sitting here using shit for gossip rights. You should be getting the facts straight. 
Yeah. If you was a victim of something like that, get the facts straight. Don't sit there and try and tell your story off of something that's fake news. Over y'all all making assumptions instead of sitting there and calling him or his mother to get the facts straight. And not one of y'all did none of none of y'all reached out to me. Then people did talk about talking about what Frankie and all kind of craziness yeah. and everybody uh, doing Frank, everything God, for clickbait. Everybody like, just clicking and that's to show you how much everybody don't even know what the hell they talking about. Call, you call me Frankie, there, all right. kind of stuff. If Come on, Frankie is dead. Listen to the whole interview that you yes. did. Y'all need to go to the interview. Tell him again and listen to what y'all were saying. Not the little bits that Hollywood clip decided to put up or the little bits that Shade Room doesn't know. Listen to the whole interview. That's right. Nobody listened to the whole interview. But it's okay. Cause and nobody even listened to my interview. And, and, if, and if you did, you didn't listen to the whole thing. And, and it's sad for everybody to... And I'm, and I'm not here to clear up myself or nothing like that. But it's sad that how media, media just take things and run and take it out of proportion. For what? what? It don't even get you no brownie points. It gets you what you call uh, making yourself out of ass. You're having a good, good run. You know, uh, people don't like you having a good run. Yeah. People don't like that. Yeah. People don't like that. You got to equate all this yeah. shit to You got to turn it around to drama. Yeah. You, know, you want drama. This ain't love and hip hop. And then for them to equate <laughs> all this <laughs> shit down to, oh, this is why Jim and Chrissy didn't get married. Oh, this is why Chrissy and her didn't get along because she thought that was his boyfriend and he has Oedipus complex. Like, y'all are, like, really reaching. Crazy, if y'all actually sat there and watched the series of the show, it was never about anything like that. She just wanted Chrissy to come around and be more part of the family. But clearly, y'all didn't watch the show. Y'all just watched the drama. Oh, hey, hold on. Look, 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 my book. Look, 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 wait. Okay. I love y'all. Huh? Where's the other I I just want you to understand. It's at the side to the to the left over here at the back. When you go in the back, look at the left where the shopping cart and the uh, my garden. Let me let me get my. Anyway, so I hope y'all understand what my what my daughter said and my um and my brother. You know, is wrong for how and what y'all did and taking it out of context and instead of y'all. Being happy for a black man, mother is able to, you know, teach him how to be a man. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna feed him. I ain't gonna feed into it. But anyway, a life live on. I just was telling about my dog. That's about it. I just, just want you to know, Diamond. Diamond is. Is loved, and I'm just so sad. Oh, wait a minute, where's, where's my high boots? You, oh, right, see them over there? Oh. Huh? What? Uh, no, well, well, Victor guy. Look, y'all, this is where, see where the T key is at? And, and the girls, see where the T key is at? That's see where the T the T keys at. That's where Diamond is buried at. So, oh, anyway.